Hello, my name is Judge Jeanette Ogden, and I'm going to be reading the book, The Meanest Things to Say by Bill Cosby. Now, hello friend, my name is Little Bill. Miss, my teacher is Miss Murray. One day, a new boy, Michael Riley, came into our class. It didn't take long for him to start trouble, just until recess. I walked to the basketball court with my friends, Andrew, Jose, and Kiku. My cousin Fuchsia was waiting for us. She's in a different class. Jose was dribbling when Michael showed up. I know a better game, Michael said. It's called playing the dozens. You get 12 chances to say something mean to a person. The meanest thing wins. I'll start, Jose said. Andrew is a lousy basketball player. Jose hoops with the frogs in the sixth grade lab, said Andrew. But Andrew eats frogs for dinner, said Jose. Kiku looked sick. You shake like a girl, Michael said to me. I shoot like a girl, said Fuchsia. She took the ball, backed up a few steps, and aimed, swish, a perfect shot. Yes, baby, she said. Michael pointed his finger at me. I'm not finished with you, he said. Just then the bell rang. Tomorrow, Michael said. I couldn't do my homework. I was thinking about what to say to Michael tomorrow. There had been a million mean things to say to him, but I was so mad that I couldn't think of any. I stood by my bed and flexed my muscles. I started jumping and yelling, watch out, rally man. I am the best, the greatest, the smartest kid in the world. Soon my mother was at the door. Young man, stop jumping on that bed now said mom. I jumped down with a loud crash. I went to the dinner table. Macaroni and cheese. Fantastic. My great grandmother, everyone calls her Alice the Great, was already at the table. Little Bill, what was all that noise about, she asked. I'm getting ready for a contest tomorrow, I said. A boxing match, mom asked. It's called playing the dozens because you have 12 chances to say something mean to the other guy. I'm going to make a list of a million mean things to say. If I study that list really hard, I can't lose. That's when my dad walked into the kitchen. He's Big Bill. Hey, buddy, what's this I hear about studying? Big test tomorrow, he asked. No, dear. Our son is in a contest, Mom said. He has to come up with a million mean things to say to somebody at school. When I was a boy, we called that ranking, Dad said. This new kid said that I shoot like a girl. Dad shrugged his shoulders and said, so? Dad, Michael Riley is a creep. So? Dad? He's bad. My dad was about to say it again. So? Is that all you can say, I asked? So? So, so, so. You've said it about a million times. I, I, when I looked around the table, everyone was smiling. It's easier than studying a million mean things, dad said. He got up and jumped around the kitchen like a boxer. He raised his hands in the air and said, I was the world ranking champ. And the rest of us said, so? The next day, Michael was waiting for me in the schoolyard and I was ready for him. You smell like an old egg salad, Michael started. So, I said, so you're a stupid nerd who looks like a slimy slug, Michael said. So, 
You're a teacher's pet with bugs living in your hair, said Michael. I thought that was funny, so I laughed and said, so? Soon the other kids were laughing. Michael was getting angry. This is, isn't how you play the game. You have to call me names, call me stupid, call me mean. I'm ugly, Michael yelled. I laughed harder. He was so funny. Michael yelled even more. You're supposed to be getting angry. You should be crying by now. What's wrong with you anyway? You're funny, I said. The bell rang. I'm going inside, Michael said as he ran off. I looked at Andrew, so we said at the same time, and we laughed. Then we walked to our classroom. Michael was sitting all alone at his desk. I kind of liked him, and I felt sorry for him. We're playing basketball during recess. Do you want to play, I asked. Sure, Michael said quietly. You can be on my team, Andrew said. He's a lousy player, I said, grinning at Andrew. Michael smiled too and said, so? We all laughed together. Outside, I held out my hand and Michael gave me a big high five. And that is the story of the meanest things to say.